when the narcissist is on their deathbed. After everything you have been through with the narcissist, I'm sure you can't wait until they die. Or maybe the narcissist in your life has already died and you had to take care of them up until that point after they abused you after they ruined your life they never treated you fairly they were never kind to you they were so abusive to you that you developed psychic abilities you became hyper aware because you were constantly walking on eggshells you were constantly putting their needs before your own and they loved that about you they wanted you to forget about your needs and focus on them and it's no different when they're on their deathbed they will expect you to be there they will expect you to take care of them which may be a very difficult thing for you to do you may not want to help someone who has spent their entire life trying to destroy you but that is what they will expect from you and being on their deathbed is not going to cause them to become less important or proud it's no different to when they are sick and I am sure that you can remember how the narcissist was when they were sick for many of you I'm sure it's hard for you to forget When the narcissist is on their deathbed, they will be worse than they usually are. They will be even more demanding and disrespectful. They will be even more arrogant and entitled. They will not apologize for everything that they have done unless they can use it to manipulate you. But that's only if their intimidation isn't effective. When the narcissist is on their deathbed, you should expect more manipulation and abuse. They will be mean until the day they die. They're not going to change. They can't just suddenly become a different person. All they can do is manipulate you. And the only people who will be there for them when they're on their deathbed are people who are still under their spell. Or people who just feel bad for not being there. And if you are there for them, they will be even more entitled. They will be even more ungrateful. And they will not show any remorse. They will not show any regret or guilt for what they have done. And when they die, you should not expect anything from them in their will. It will be left to the golden child. It will be left to their enablers. It will be left to the people who validated the illusions of their false self. People who were susceptible to their manipulation. People who didn't try to oppose their false narrative. People who kept a code of silence. They will leave money for people who weren't even there for them. 
but they won't leave anything for you. Even when the narcissist has the opportunity to correct the wrong that they have done, they still won't do it. They will be bitter and mean until the very end. They don't suddenly change. They don't apologize to you. So don't expect them to show remorse. Don't expect them to show humility. Don't expect an apology. Because in most situations, you're not going to get that from a narcissist. But even if you do, it's not going to be genuine. If it was, they would have corrected their wrongdoings a long time ago. Why would anyone have to wait until the very end to try to correct the errors of their ways? They never spent any time with you. They never talked to you. They never got to know you. You were never enough for them because they were not enough for themselves. And that is why they were always distracted. They were always preoccupied with other things, things that made them feel better about themselves, things that made them feel like they're worth something. And it's no different when they're on their deathbed. They're not going to be happy just because you're there for them. That's not going to be enough for them. They're still going to take you for granted, just as they always did. They never knew who you are, because they never knew themselves. And that is why they were always distracted. That is why they were always preoccupied with other people and things. Because they needed other people and things to constantly tell them who they are. And they couldn't find that with you. You didn't tell them who they were. You didn't validate the illusion. You didn't support their false narrative. And that is why they were never there for you. That is why they were never committed to you. Because you were a bearer of truth. You were grounded in reality. So they weren't actually running from you. They were running from the truth and reality that they didn't want to accept. They were running from themselves. They were running from the shame that they didn't want to deal with. And when the narcissist is on their deathbed, sometimes they may break down and cry. But that's only because their shame is eating them alive. They can't run from it anymore because they know their life is coming to an end. But even when they cry and they apologize to you, it's still all about them. They don't care about you. They just don't want to die because death is the ultimate loss of supply. There's no illusion when they're dead. There's no false self. It is the ultimate loss of their power and control. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonates with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. 
If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.